We begin this news hour with breaking news from Russian-controlled Crimea. Moscow says Ukrainian missiles have targeted its Black Sea Fleet headquarters in the peninsula. It said Russian air defense systems shot down five missiles during the attack in Sevastopol. But black smoke has been seen billowing from the base. Crimea's Russian-backed governor has urged civilians to remain indoors and stay away from the city center until further notice. In recent weeks, Ukraine has stepped up its attacks on Russia's navy. Journalist Yulia Shapovalova is standing by in Moscow for us. First, though, let's talk to Zane Besravi in the Ukrainian capital. Zane, what are you learning about this? Well, obviously, we're getting very differing reports from Russian and Ukrainian sources, but here on the ground in Kyiv, uh, leaders, military and civilian alike, will be celebrating what they consider, no doubt, to be a successful mission on the Crimean Peninsula. Uh, we've heard attacks of uh, multiple missile attacks on targets in the peninsula, multiple explosions in the last few hours, uh, and uh, the prime target seems to be the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet. Now, the Black Sea Fleet has been the main military thrust of Russia's in this war in Ukraine uh, since the invasion began. And this will no doubt come as a major, uh, uh, major problem for Russian forces here. What we're hearing is uh, other locations were also hit, four other locations on the peninsula. But it, it seems to be that the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet was a primary target. Now, we've heard unconfirmed reports of casualties there being in the double digits. And it comes after a week or two of some very high-profile missions taken out, uh, taken uh, uh, by the Ukrainians. Uh, just over a week ago, they destroyed a submarine and a warship uh, in a Sevastopol dry dock. Uh, they also took back the Boyka Towers in the, in the Black Sea, uh, an important location from which Russia operated logistics for its military operations in the area. And uh, we also heard reports in the last week that Russian air defenses uh, in Crimea had been taken out, seemingly in preparation for this very high-profile attack. Now, uh, though Ukrainian forces will be seeing this as a success, there is some concern that this could lead to retaliatory attacks on Kyiv and other cities. Uh, no doubt people are on high alert here. However, that is not dampening spirits. It seems that the Ukrainians are putting out celebratory messages on social media saying uh, it will get worse for the Russians on the occupied Crimean Peninsula. And uh, a note from the National Security Council's Alexei Danilov. Let me just read to you a, a recent statement by him that sort of gives a sense of what more is to come. He said there are two options for the future of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, voluntary or forced self-neutralization. So that gives you a sense of how seriously Ukrainian forces are pursuing trying to, if not immediately take back the peninsula, which has been the stated goal for some time, at the very least, make it very difficult for Russian positions to remain there. Zane, thank you very much. I want to get the Russian perspective on this. Let's go to Yulia Shapovalova. Yulia, you're in Moscow. Russia's fleet in the Black Sea, a major military asset. What is Russia saying about this? Well, absolutely. First, we're getting reports from the Russian Ministry of Defense. And according to them, uh, five missiles had been shot down. Uh, one serviceman was killed and five more injured. Uh, so what we see indicates that the Russian-Ukrainian armed conflict is raging on. And this time around, Russia's fleet, Russia's precious asset, as you said, uh, has been targeted. So according to the governor of Sevastopol, the civilian infrastructure around the fleet headquarters, which are located in the very center of the city, was not actually damaged. And the people who were on the street at the time of the strike were also unhurt. Uh, the police had cordoned off the central part of the city, where the debris had scattered around an area of 200 meters. Uh, the building itself suffered significant damage as well. And uh, uh, also a fire started uh, there right after the attack. Firefighters are still uh, putting it out. Uh, residents have been asked not to travel to the centre. And according to preliminary reports, the air defence missiles, um, well, the air defences actually missed two missiles and shot down eight. Uh, but presumably, there were British cruise missiles of the Storm Shadow type or similar French ones. But that information has to be verified. Right, Yulia Shapovalova in Moscow. Thank you very much, Yulia.